Hello and welcome to the Grand Fantasia Blue Bay tutorial. We're going to be going over the locations of quest givers and the mobs of the zone. First of all, before you start the series of quests, you'll want to stop by the Traveling Merchant and purchase the quest book. Be sure to right click on the book to actually accept the quest. These books go along with a lot of the other quests of Blue Bay, and there are plenty of these books in the other zones throughout Grand Fantasia as well. With the first book quest accepted, be sure to stop by the other quest givers and pick up the other quests. It is very important that you actually read the quests to determine what it is you're doing and why. Here's a map of the first two quest givers and the traveling merchant. And a map of where the round jelly rabbits can be found. Now, as you can see, the blue bag that drops contains your quest item. When you finish the kills and drops, return to the quest givers and turn in the quests. When you've turned them in, be sure to accept the next quest in the series. And if you can, finish the book quest by right-clicking on the book and clicking OK. You will want to right-click on it again to accept the next quest in the book. Also, don't forget to stop by the other NPCs and turn in the quest that you may have already finished. Here's a map of where you can find the Happy Crabs and the Hardy Crabs. Once again, when you're done killing them and collecting the items, head back to the NPC and turn in the quest. As a helpful tip, there's a little blue box on your quest tracker next to Finish Quests that will auto-run you to the NPC when you've finished a quest. Once again, you'll want to finish your book quest and accept the next one. Here's the location of the bullnose worms and the caterpillar. And here we have the bully caterpillar, a named mob. Now these mobs are a little bit harder than average, but they give you fame points when you kill them, which we'll go over in a later video. Just like the last quests, when you finish them, head back to the NPC to turn them in, and accept the next quests in the series. Here's a map of where the bouncing jelly rabbits can be found for your next quests. Please remember to read all of the quests in detail as it is very important. Now before you finish these quests, head back to the captain who will take you to the lone island or deserted island. And when you get there, head over to Marcus who is marked here on this map. Marcus will give you two quests, one to kill Sunny and one to kill Channel Crabs. They are located here. Head over to Sunny, killing Channel Crabs along the way. Now, Sunny is a special mob who needs to be summoned at this pylon with an item from your inventory. Sunny is a lot harder than your average mob. He is soloable for advanced players, but otherwise we recommend having a group. When you finish those quests, head back to Marcus and then back to the main area of Blue Bay. This map shows the location of the next quest givers. You will want to turn in all of your remaining quests and accept whatever quests they will give to you. This map shows you where the Punkish Pigs and Bayside Boars are. Head over there to collect the items and kill as many as you need to complete the quests. Once you're done with those quests, head back to the quest givers and turn them in. 
Some of the quest givers will give you more quests for the next zone. And now that you've completed all of the book quests, you can remove it from your inventory. And now that we've finished all of the quests on this map, head over to the zone portal and move on to the next area. And that's the end of the Blue Bay tutorial. Happy gaming!